What's going on, everybody? I'm Kevin from Cigar Prop, and it is another Drew Estate Tobacco and Tech Tip Sunday, powered by Monster Energy Rehab. As always, my tech tips are things that happen to me during the week. Um, a lot of customers coming in this week, super, super proud of them. They, they want their spare tires checked um, and going on a trip. <laughs> that is rarely the case. People do not think about that at all. Uh, in two instances, um, I, um, I, we're in my vehicle. I'm going to show you a couple things. But um, I, I go to get their spare tire out. Well, one of them, it was a pain to, to get even the spare tires and get to everything. And then I, I thought to myself, I don't even know how to get to my spare tire. And then in another instance, uh, they were missing one of their tools. And I thought, man, like I said, I've never even checked my own. I take it for granted that I know how to change a spare a tire if I get a flat on the side of the road, but a lot of people don't. Now, I'm not expecting, if you're one of these people that can't change a spare tire, I'm not here to show you how to change a tire. You should probably learn, watch some videos. Um, if you have a neighbor like me, you know, come over at least once. Hey, can you show me how to change out a, a spare, you know, while we're, while we're on the road? Um, and, you know, that way I can be kind of prepared, but don't worry if that's not your thing. You don't ever want to learn how to change a spare. Um, you've got AAA and you're good to go. This video is still for you, so I need you to pay attention. What happens, let me put my monster energy down. What happens when you're on the side of the road and say you're out in the middle of nowhere, AAA, your roadside assistance is a couple hours away and you just want to be, you just want to get on the road. You're on a trip. You don't have time to wait on the side of the road for a couple of hours and then you don't have the ability to change your tire because you don't know how. Um, and someone stops, hey, can I help you? I've been there, you know, I'll do it. Hey, can I help you out? What if you don't have the tools? What if they don't drive a car similar? Well, it doesn't have to be similar. So, and they don't have the tools. Let me just show you kind of where on this one. And you, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Do you remember like six months ago or so, you know, I told you you should be reading your owner's manual to find out all the cool hidden tips, tricks, and secrets of um of your car um well i've done that and i must have missed mine so i'm preparing for this video today it's kind of dark inside here um which i doubt you'll be able to see but i found two little pull handles on the side like what the hell are these things so i go to pull them do you see that my seats fold down whenever i'm at the home depot i'm always going around to the side and putting them down manually i have pull handles here read your owner's manual there's some cool things in your car you probably don't know about so um so here i was looking at mine and i actually had to take you know there's this panel here i had to take a screw out to get this panel off to the side there was another screw on the side here i had to take another little tray out just to be able to pull this out for my spare tire to be underneath here take out yet another screw and i'm able able to pull out everything else so here here is my jack there is the handle inside here to take off the lug nuts now that's what i was saying if someone pulls on the side of the road to help you out and you don't have some kind of tool they're not always going to be able to help you because you have lug nuts you've got the most popular 19 millimeter, 21 millimeter, and 22. I have 22 millimeter on here, um, big SUV, use truck style lug nuts. Someone pulls up on the side of the road, they're driving a little Hyundai, they're gonna have a 21 millimeter, so they're not gonna be able to take your tire off. If they're driving a little Sonic or something smaller, Ford Festiva, Fiesta, they're gonna have 19 millimeter on there, so they're not gonna be able to help you either. So you need to find out where your tools are, where your spare tire is, and how to access that as well. Um, read your owner's manual, that will be able to, to help you out. If you don't know, if, if you still, you don't have your owner's manual, you, you're still not sure. I've talked about this in the past. I work at Tires Plus. Uh, uh, we have Tires Plus, Firestone Complete Auto Care, Hibden Tires Plus, Wheelworks if you're out west. We all have what's called a vehicle inspection. Uh, it's $10. It's like a, a report card for your vehicle. They go over everything. Um, you don't have to have them go over everything. Just go in like, hey, I would like one of them vehicle inspections 
but all I want inspected is my spare tire system. You know, so if you're going on a road trip, you're thinking about it because we're in that time of year for traveling, you know, get your tires aired up, get your tires inspected. We've talked about this before in the past. If your car is, is low to the ground, sometimes you, you don't see that there's steel on the inside edge of the tires or you're wearing the inside edge until it's up in the air and you got a, a better way to look at it. But if you know your tires are good, just say, hey, I don't know where my spare tire's at. I don't know where my tools are at. I don't know if I have all the tools. Can you do an inspection? Can the, can the technician bring me out? And they're going to say yes. So if, if that was me, I would bring you out. I would show you step by step. Hey, here's how you access your spare tire. Um, here's where your tools, because the tools aren't always with the spare tire. There are many vehicles where your tools are in hidden panels along the side. And there are many, many cars that come with nothing. No jack, no tool to take the lug nuts off, no spare tire, nothing. They come with like this little pump that's got, you know, like the new Ford Mustang and a couple of vehicles that have um, a, a fluid in it that you, you plug into a, an outlet in the back here. You pump the air inside your tire, the like the fix a flat sealer goes inside the tire and you're on your way. Unless you have a blowout or it's a giant hole and that sealer comes out, you're done. You you can't even you can't even go. You you can't you can't even call AAA. They're they're not going to change anything out. Now you're getting towed. You're getting towed to another facility. Um, what do you do in that situation? There's nothing you can do. If you find out you don't have a spare tire, there are vehicles out there that have no access. You cannot put a spare in anywhere unless you just want it sitting on top of everything along with your tools. Nobody wants that. A lot of vehicles that don't come with spares do have the place for them. They, that car just wasn't ordered with a spare and all of the tools where you can spend a couple hundred dollars and you can get all the tools. Um, you can get the spare. Yes, it is a lot of money, but if you're on a road trip and you're talking a couple of hours waiting on the side of the road, being towed somewhere, and then another couple hours waiting for your tire, how much is your time worth to me? For me, a couple hundred dollars would be definitely worth getting me on my way on my own and getting me uh, fixed. So yes, you got to know where your tools are at. If you have the tools, how to get to them. Um, if, like I said, if you call AAA or something, like I said, they're going to know, but if someone's helping you on the side of the road um, and you're on a road trip and all of this is packed, how many of you been on a road trip? This is all packed with stuff to the ceiling and you don't know where your tools are at. And then you've got to unload everything. On this, if this was packed, I know I've only got to unload a couple of suitcases here. All my tools are right here. Um, keep this in mind. When I have a big 20-inch rim on here, if, if, I, if I need to put this somewhere, it's going in the back here. It doesn't go back in where your spare tire is. So maybe think about that on a road trip. Don't pack this 100% because if you have a flat, where's that tire going? It's got to go in here somewhere, so... Maybe keep that in mind as well. But yes, um, as you're heading out on your road trips, these holiday seasons, um, it's definitely worth stopping into your local garage, your your local mom and pop mechanic, a, a tires plus a fire some complete auto care, um, and just getting a vehicle inspection done, getting your, your tires checked, getting your fluids checked, um, getting your spare tire system, you know, checked as well. Um gonna be one of you i know it you're gonna send me a message you know in like a month kevin wish i'd listened to you my spare tire was flat i was missing my jack handle i was missing this so i don't want that to happen to you i don't want it to ruin a vacation or if you're like me you're, you're trying to beat the gps uh on a road trip uh this right here something goes wrong with this not only you're not beating the road trip you, you could be set a half a day behind so um that's not fun that sucks that dad sucks we don't ever want to experience that um all right cats and kittens we'll see you next week